Hello Vaz, good evening. We provide the watch on the water. The issue from independent television. And I know see every Monday like this, there was a call with different, different topics and issues when we discuss for inside the program. Today, we don't come again. My name is Neymar Konolo, Meko uh, Yogu Street. Um, I brought a day with me here. Saboyi, Emi Kare. Saboyi, good evening. Good evening, my brother. People for our, no, good evening, no. Then, of course, uh, my brother Victor Agedo. Victor, good evening, sir. Good evening, Ross. Good evening, Dios. All right. Welcome in the Benz in the one I do with us for us. Good evening, sir. My people in our world. Okay. Again, like I talk, by 27th, uh, our president and his government, they will do one year in office. So, uh, we will look at how far, how well, where we did for instance. Because when he come office, he talk about uh, security, subsidy, transition, agriculture, and so many things of the diploma. So far, from what you now see, what you now be our own assessment of this president. So, uh, Victor, tell me, assess uh, the one year office of President Ahmed uh, Volatil. Thank you very much. <laughs> president, president Ahmed Bola Tinubu came to office. May 29, mm. 2023. By May 29, this year will be one year. His uh, policies, program for the past one year, I will not say he has failed. I will not say he has underperformed. I will say he has not performed. I don't understand. Speak the PG women here. Okay, what I mean is that uh, our president never do well. For this one year when the office. So you never do it. You never do it at all. The very first day when he take office, he made a very big blunder by announcing to the whole world subsidy is gone forever. The previous government when hand over to run, don't tell the whole world say he don't pay subsidy rich June ending. Then he announced subsidy is gone. And from that moment Nigeria has entered pay so that till now has not been abated, never reduced. Instead, it's a crazy. Property is working with the two legs in this country. People go to bed hungry, no food. And when you look at it, President, when he was coming to office, we already had problem on the ground. No doubt, Wahala the ground. What was the Wahala? Number one Wahala that was on ground was insecurity. And insecurity hinder food production. Insecurity not let people go far. Now we can know how much Kasa Gari is in the market. But the president has not addressed the issue of insecurity. People are still being kidnapped. Transfer has still been paid. Our former president, uh, late uh, Abacha, once said that if Trouble the country, and that trouble not finish for two weeks. You know, say people went the power, get hand for the waiting they happen. Now in talker, it's a problem for country, like in security, not supposed to pass two weeks when government they see us. And that one can't take a really lessons. I remember when President Obasanjo, his daughter, was going to Ogun State from Lagos, and robber come robber, collecting moto, collecting money. President was in. He be president that time. He can't call IG. Say, my daughter, I'm robber, robber. That I'm robber, bring and come. <laughs> Those I'm robber, now they the public, they arrest them. They are got pata pata in France. They go arrest and bring and come Nigeria. To tell you, say, when government needs to do something, they will do it well. And that kind of thing show, waiting about your talk, say, when government needs to deal with something, now small thing for government. So it's security that is on ground. Kidnapping, uh, Boko Haram, uh, as men, they are still ravaging the place, arresting people, carrying school children, and all that. And they are in this country. The government is not doing anything about it. Because of that, many people are afraid to go to farm. This thing has not been addressed. He meet it for granted. But when somebody says, I want to be president, I want to be governor. Within the talk, you say, I understand problem when they grant. I 
have better idea when I would this over or do one. Men are giving me chance. Now the chance when Nigeria give up be that. In over to that one at all. That was it the ground. Okay. Uh oh, okay uh, President will say make Nigerians no pity. Make Nigeria. No make Nigerians no no disabilities with her. Because you know what in that office be. Today, I you tell Luca. Well, he get any way when he perform at all, but I've been a hundred percent zero. Now you get well the the way I go look um, now in two perspectives. First, is from a party where you don't be in power before for eight years. Now it's more like a continuation of the what the party you don't do. So if you are prism on that part, we go say they never do well as a party. I don't want to really look at him as an individual because it takes more than one person to govern this great nation. The first thing we, we do where I go first say, okay, we, are, we want to identify as the right move. He quick get in ministers and even create more ministries. So now we get our 46 ministers. Another thing we do is say we want to float the currency so that trade could be enhanced in the right capacity, which till now we never still understand the direction where that one they go. Then recently here is they talk about giving student loan. For me, instead of giving student loan, why not create jobs for students? Because our people where they go abroad, they, they work still in school. So that one still they skip. for me, get as that part B. Then another thing we do is still because most of in, in actions they they kind of they be new thing. It consider would they pay money to renew proof of ownership, like for oh, your vehicle. vehicle. Yes. So it, it, from then they they use and generate revenue. But this, this revenue, how we go fit a major and whether it is serve the purpose for which they generate them for. Now, if you look at the aspect of law, we not go fit to say the rule of law is improvement. Because even as we speak, so um, for in government, you know, they hold a mifili for like 30 years and 30 days, for the 30 days without bay, yeah, they never prove anything against them. Now the candle still did there. The judiciary is still they play around the matter. They never still address some, say, given conditions for bail and all of that. So when you look, if you want to start to look the, the presidency, there are so many areas to look at. But one thing why they appeal to people, if I say Buhari bad during in government, I should be able to still say one positive thing where go encourage us as a people. So in as much as I say Tunubu, never really give the people the waiting they want. If you look at the educational part, it'd be like, say, this in government as it come. We never really experience strike for now. Student, day school, that they, they, they move. But at the end of the day, if you want to look these two aspects, waiting with the gain and waiting with the lose, which is coming, I will say the people, they, they in a lot of frustration and pain. Because ever since they come into power, the common man, they find it difficult to eat well. Even when you say they earn good money, if you buy 10,000 naira for you drive your car, I, I bet you, if you go some areas before you reach us, you don't need reserve. Common cup of gari and eh, rice, all those things, if they tell you the price is nice, it's amazing. Cup of beans now, rice, is 4, 450 naira. Beans, about 350. You know, even seed of eh, coconut, what would they Coco, coco, uh, coco, yes, coconuts. The other day, the price don't increase. Everything, they increase. Transport, it's not funny anymore. So Nigerians, they're not they interested in the things where you go mention, say you don't achieve, when you know they affect their stomach, and when you know they affect their immediate family. You know, again, you say one do coastal line. All those things, they sound beautiful. But at the end of the day, the common man, how the common man they feed the pulse of this government. And if you want to be very fair, irrespective of whether I say you did this party or you not did this party, the government of the day has fed Nigerians. And when I say the government of the day, I extend down to the previous one, where the continuation of this one is part of that one. They are all from the same party. They have fed us because for, for you to have uh, your party be in government for eight years and you they come, it's supposed to be smooth landing for you. 
you could just continue from here to stop. And by now, we suppose only see results. But for the fact that we never they see these results, uh. it shows first their own house is not in order. But some other people, they, they blame uh, the former president because of the blame game. We feel we blame. We feel we blame. blame game. Now in play for We feel blame our ancestors. We don't die hundreds of years ago. But now we dare life now to face the reality the of what's in the apple. So you feel blame anybody? It's your free will. Okay. But the reality. Uh, Osamui. Yes. Uh, this now your government. This now your party. And so uh, tell us what the Nigerians need to know about President Bola Metinubu, at least uh, has the program B, even the viewers, really they, even when they don't agree with you. Just to tell us, okay, Nigerians, I don't say Boli the Hotto, see what my president do. Let okay. us know. Okay, uh, my people for us now, good evening. I don't talk how many times, say, whether you did for party A, you did for party B, Nigeria and our primary constituency. And the good thing you say, the party where you did know the determine market way for they buy something. So you go there irresponsible for anybody to come because you did one particular party to now come to say that all is well when all is not well. For instance, I drive coin just now. I did come my TV before. I know how much I did buy for it. What it comes so compared to what I did buy before. I know how much I can't give my wife now compared to what I used to give to her. So all of us, they inside this challenge of government. But however, the truth is that, like my brother remarked, now one party, from one party, smooth transmission of power from one, one party to the same party. But the question is that now different actors, now they're on board right now. I will go look the campaign promises vis-a-vis -vis the manifesto way in talk and the things way in talk say you want to and waiting in they do one year after i think that is the core uh, mandate of all of us we day here now because you and i agree that before tinubu come things bad but all of them agree for one thing say there is a monster where they eat all of us as a nation which is a subsidy remover and everybody, they romance that subsidy since. Some go say a partial subsidy. Some go say a full subsidy remover. But the man will get courage to say on the first day of office, subsidy is gone. I think that man deserves some commendation. However, how does that translate to the well-being of the ordinary Nigerian is a different matter altogether. And you also look at what are the steps we in the take in accordance with what in talk say in go do. Which problem Nigeria get? Has he identified them? The question, the answer for me is yes. He has a, the man has identified security as a challenge. The man has, has identified electricity as a challenge. He has identified infrastructural deficiency where we get as a people. He has identified it as a challenge. Now he is taking steps to look at it. He doesn't also look at the issue of corruption as a challenge we will get. Is he taking steps to correct it? The answer is yes. So it's against that backdrop, I think, we all now have to appraise the work we president don't do. And for me, in that regard, he's taking steps to see that those things are dealt with. But the ordinary Nigeria no know about steps. It'd be like picking where you born for house. <laughs> uh, you they carry your picking, they go as you go, daddy, buy me a uh, pizza. You don't know how much they papa okay. pocket. Waiting in you, we say, get us. That, so what Nigeria needs right now is that let fuel price come down. Let guy food money price for food come down. Let us be able to go to our farms without uh, uh, issues. So I think as the program progresses, we will look at those the step we in don't take to take address that challenge. But for me, I think that why things are really bad for everybody, this president first of all has been able to identify those challenges we will get. And he's putting machineries in place to uh, tackle them. As the, as the program progresses, we're going to look at uh, those uh, Before you go back, mm. uh, no, I, I recall, mm. because now he be 
the president just put <laughs> one in court for oh, yeah. you. Know, yeah. Now, now very hard work uh, uh, to, de to defend, uh, uh, to defend uh, uh, the uh, government uh, because uh, no matter how much English you speak, the man when they're hungry, uh, no go understand them. So that's uh, where we that's move, where we move, are. Move, look at the uh, issue of food and security. Yes. yes. Because both of them go very mm. As at a uh, few days ago, they see pick some people for Abuja and the kidnapping. Yes. You know the stuff. And this thing it 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 make a family very difficult. Now you get one problem where we have I, I, I said it's, you see, to be a leader you must have courage. Mm -hmm. It is courage you need to be a leader. The man has identified that security is a major challenge in Nigeria. And you look at the percentage of the insecurity would they get before he come and what we have now, you'll be able to marry it. And also for the first time, the man has, you know, every government where they come, they romance the problem. For instance, state policing. Everybody will come. Some will say, now state police we need. Some will say, we don't need them. For the first time, we have a government that have inaugurated the committee to look at the workability of state police. Because until Nigeria is able to resolve that issue of state policing, we can't deal with the issue of security. Because me and you know the bad guys within our area. If we are able to deal with that issue of state policing, we'll be able to reduce insecurity to the barest minimum. That's why I said that president is taking steps to address those issues. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, now. You get what you want. No, know. yes. Like, um, when, when you talk about governance... I'm going to try to speak PG, you know, so that... Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, when we they talk about the government... Language of the program. You know, for me, I believe if a party, they power. Parties must work together because they pursue the same agenda. And it will help everybody if parties, they look at their long-term plans, irrespective of the candidates, where they come into power. In as much as I acknowledge certain things that he has said, you and my brother talk here, he, he spoke well, but there are areas where I want to just highlight on. Buhari come into power. At some point, he tell us what they do around rice. Say they want to improve the capacity at which we get our own rice for you. Now, what we Nigerians want now, if in own party still they come, now to give us a report, say, for this rice now, with the improve on what this person they do because this is a good thing. In a situation where we get a government this time around, this same party, and you say new people now they're on board now, yeah. are you telling us they should discard anything where the previous government don't do, even when the thing they good for them to continue? Like what is they good when I just them? mentioned rice as an example now. Okay, what did Buhari do for rice? Buhari improved the capacity of our indigenous rice. Okay, to produce yes. rice. Yes. Okay. That is a fact. What I'm saying to you now, as Tunubu come into power, Buhari not do many things right, but there are some few things where you go feel pick, say, okay, this one, they don't they do, and maybe we continue from here. Because one thing where I notice amongst all of us, even whether you're in our government of our individual house or office, we are very wasteful for this country. Wasteful in the sense that one government come now, they don't they do something, spend so much money, will they hear billions? Another government go come, we not go hear say, see the dashboard report on how far they don't go with this thing and see what they want to do to round up that thing. And that thing a problem. That's why you get so many elephant pro projects everywhere. So I want to talk to my brother in that direction, say, when you come for a particular party, there's what you should experience as a collective responsibility. The, the people where they power, in as much as Una be one. The other day when they come into power, I say they want to continue the good work where Buhari do. Although that good work, we never still understand what he means. But now you are saying this is a new government, new cabinet. It's more like you are saying the party not get a long-term goal for us Nigerians. And when we talk about security, whether you talk about state policing, we go wait for state policing to come into existence before we start to address security issues the way yeah, they come. Nah, all the budgets, nah, no, nah, like, all the budgets, like, all the budgets where this country, they bring forth for security issues, the big, big budget, the mm, billions, yeah. whether they bring for security, waiting be the report. How yeah, do you utilize like those I, things? Like I talk, like I talk, you know, say, Barista uh, Emmanuel Uso, he give us one parable. 
Would it be repairable? You see, when they won't settle matter, they will see me they do as they do before. We see them on security. Yo. Abi, mm. and, and as they do before, now cost quarter. Now cost quarter. So, and for the first time, this girl will come. He go just like this issue of restructuring. You know, say, uh, former vice president, anytime when they want campaign, now they bring restructuring come. Anytime when they want campaign, you go say, go do restructuring. You understand? Hey, this one now, this state policy now. So many presidents, like he talk, don't they talk with him, but this man is. No, no, see, see, make I explain so, something. That, uh, par that parable where you give, uh, for me, oh, uh, those parables are not really relevant. But see, I want to tell you, if new government come, mm. you get budgets. Just like somebody like Obi, they talk, when you come into power as a governor, you notice here they use the SY number of cars. It's too expensive to run the government. It reduces them. Now you go tell us how you don't do some cost effectiveness for your administration. Because this administration is very expensive. Uh, okay, wait. It's very wait, expensive. Uh, wait, move, 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 Let's move, call it space. Yes, it's we'll, a very yes, expensive we'll administration. Reach there. We'll finish this agriculture. We'll enter uh, this or that. Uh, 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 Victor. Uh, you see, sometimes we say things that we do look, make things look good. <laughs> we know when we say the president has not done something. But what he's doing is bringing pain to the people. Ah. What he's doing is bringing poverty. Uh, but, but, but like as he talked, yes. like as he talked, he said, say, wait a minute, he said, um, insecurity, yeah. they will die under the fire. Now president can set up committee to look it on and they will come. That will be the right direction. Let me, let me say so something. I'm also with Bruce. Okay, 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 go ahead. Okay, go ahead. You see, let me show you something. During Oyinola as governor of Lagos, you cannot sleep with your two eyes closed. You know if you sleep, your two eyes closed like this. That's your own state. No, Lagos state. Okay. Oyinola when it was, 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 was a military governor. Yes. And a military governor for that matter. And there was no road in Lagos. Everywhere was bad. I was in Lagos. Then, we just see here, somebody has been announced as the new governor. Dupa mm. Maru. Mawa. Yes. Marwa came to Lagos. And transformed everything. The very day Marwa came to Lagos, and robber robbed at the Keja, killed a pregnant woman opposite government house to tell you how bad it was there. Marwa looked back and said, what? This is a welcome party. They are sending me a message. I'm taking insecurity, I'm taking insecurity matter head on. That very week, Marwa procured over 400 vehicles set up Operation Sweep. And we called the Commissioner of Police. These boys that did this job, I wanted them. Within a week, those boys were picked up. Then he purchased all the whole motor was over 1,000 within Lagos. These were done within a month. And people cannot sleep at home. And be. You see, when a person wants to deal with, a person wants to do something, you go see your body. You go take action. We are talking about one year. We have not seen a decisive step by the president. Now, committee will they talk. Now, committee will address matter. President to make a pronouncement. President in the president city, just like Buhari city. Buhari was in a holiday. He picked children from school. He went to inspect his car. No, president city, they are picking people. Is it okay? Fine. You cannot. From going from Benina to Esa, it's a difficult situation because last two weeks and last week, people were kidnapped. Hmm. Passing through uh, this third road by the governor, uh, Ogoneki, people were kidnapped. So it's coming close to us. We are not hearing it in the north again. It's already, it's it's already within us. It's not coming close. Action okay. from the president. Now, let me, let, let, me, okay. let me quickly, let me okay. quickly okay. get, sir. Okay. You okay. see, okay. waiting you talk so, as you see, as we talk, huh, like I, like I, waiting I start my conversation with, we say, we no go fit come here, so we want to defend political party. Make we not talk things the way they. And I have also admitted that insecurity is a big challenge. Yes for here, for Nigeria. And the president is taking step by first of all identifying the fact that this is a problem. And a lot of money is being invested in purchase of security gadgets and also this issue of state policing. That has been done, but that's been said, sir. You look at when he removed the first subsidy, 
Security issue was in his mind. Because, you see, security must be local. You look at states, look at Lagos State, for instance. They talk about Lagos State just now. That a governor bought over 400 cars within two weeks. Within two weeks. Now, you look at what is happening in our neighboring state. For, I'll give you one instance. When Buhari left, the federal allocation that was shared by the entire country was in the neighborhood of 680 billion. But two, three months after Buhari uh, Pinubu came in, they shared 1.80 trillion. That is the benefit of removing subsidy. That was supposed to trickle down to the state, then to the local government. And that being so, if you bring the money to the state, President Kanukuma can 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 buy security vehicle for uh, those state police. It is the governor or the government of the state that will do that. The government, if the local government gets their own money, for instance, they cannot come and buy a vehicle for the local government. So you see that if a man is taking steps to see that these issues are addressed, look, what you talked about was in the military area where you take decision by fiat. But you don't do that in a democratic system. You must go through process. There are processes that no, 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 you know no, that no, you no, must no, go no, through. Let, let me to identify. Be able to, no, let me identify something here. Yeah. 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 Wait, no. There's a sensitive area here. In his statement, he said, I mean, man, speak with you now. Uh, and for that, my though. brother's statement, he said the man buy more vehicles yes. and say make their use the vehicles. You understand? He address security issues. I think that one not necessarily need certain procedures. For government, security. because government already they get security Vote. votes. Now, how you use God. these security votes? But make I tell you something. Our people say a child where no one read. Now they say no fields can do read. Say make them bring electricity first before you go read. You go fail exam. The truth of the matter is, the president of this great nation and this present government, they never really take. See, there are certain decisions you will take in the right direction, we go feel them. They never take any decision where we don't feel as a people yet. That's true. Uh, no, 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 no. Because, because no, no, no. the no, reality... No, there yet. no the, reality, come, come wait, na, the reality... Uh, now, waiting, they happen for markets. Okay, it's a... It's a that is the reality. The president never taken a decision. The president has taken a lot of decisions okay like but, but okay for instance the issue of subsidy removal it was major for us as a country for us to be able to raise but is the, is the first, um, cheaper now? no it's not cheaper it's not cheaper but if you look at if you i am at the look all of us here all of us are people where they very enlightened and informed if you look at the cost of fuel in nigeria compared to other african countries you will not see our our fuel is very reasonable not cheap but that the other man in the street cannot understand that but the reason why government removes subsidy now make other people forget sufficient money to solve some of the problems so we get that include security infrastructure. Then more so, the government has also uh, uh, dealt to the issue of floating the Naira, which also has assisted us. But I agree with everybody on the issue of slow implementation of some of these policies of government. That is why I'm going to say that one year. Yeah, and that's why they talk say one year day. Much as I agree that the government will don't see some things where government don't do, where go affect the other man physically, that you go say, ah, thank God, government did this one. But the process may be slow, but it's steady. Let me say something. Okay. Make I talk something. Okay, talk about No. <laughs> you mentioned about the subsidy remover. Yes. The subsidy remover was not bad. It was, it was done badly. To remove subsidy, it's not bad, but it was removed badly. It's like doing the right thing in the wrong way. So you can't stay on that. That's number one. Yes. That's number one. Secondly, you talk of floating the Naira. It was a terrible policy. A big mistake. Nigeria is paying dearly for it. That is what even... Now that one can't even give us the highest pay. Not even the subsidy removal why, why, why your president now, remove... If you want to uh, float currency, yes. what... Are the fundamentals? What are the things you that see? must be on ground, now, Commissar? Before you, you would say you want float currency. What's the meaning of float currency? You would float currency to say, I leave my currency, make a market if forces, forces determine, determine what is the value. Yes. First and foremost, what are you producing? You are not producing it. We're a consuming country. Then you leave your currency to float. 
you have sent that currency to a suicide. That is exactly what happened. It is no doubt. You don't enter inside of that way. Now we see today how much is the value of the naira today. Every value of a currency is the pride of every country. The value of your currency is your pride. Now you know they produce anything. You can't say make. You can't leave your currency. It's a bad policy. Okay. And secondly, mm -hmm. thirdly, what do we can see for inside this government where we be saying mm -hmm. every policy pronouncement this government don't do. There is nothing tank. There is no people where reason and where we say if you go like this, we will come adjust and like this. If you go like this, you will just say they're talking. Just like uh, just the, like that. Just like the CBN. Thank with you. The yes, the man in the rich textbook. To the, <laughs> to the, <laughs> so you go just wake read, up. He go read textbook tomorrow. Come go talk about the CBN policy. When you read textbook, you just come contact them. And the bad thing when they fight inside this matter, they say this policy are not even coming from the president. Are coming from IMF and the World Bank. They are touching to say, if you don't do what they do, we don't go borrow your money. And they need the money. And you want to borrow money? What do you borrow money? They okay. As we they talk now, my brother, next month on the 13th, now they want to give her over seven billion dollars for borrow. And they tell and say that tax when you suspend for transfer and communication, you won't bring her back. So that you will get this money when we want to borrow you. And if you go see money when uh, Tinubu don't borrow for one year, he passed with Buhari borrow for eight years. What did you don't borrow the money do? No, then no, no, I tell me, what you don't borrow money do? Okay. Move let let from, me uh, make I just talk this one. The subsidy remover is not a bad thing. If you want to look and buy, waiting everybody they expect. Because even when Jonathan did, Jonathan and FS started to the talk, say, want to remove subsidy. We are having the concern now. Why the Tunubu then and Buhari there against Jonathan when you want to remove subsidy? Then now they come quick rush, do them. That's not my concern. But subsidy is something we need to deal with one way or the other. But see the problem. If you remove your subsidy, it's like you don't create variable for accounting. Then at the same time, you can't uh, float your dollar. And for account, if you create two variables, no problem. For somebody who be seizing an account, and they will tell you, if you create two, two variables, no problem. You're supposed to fix one, then before you create one as variable. So in a situation where you say you float your Naira, yeah. then you let the factors or the forces determine how the Naira value will be. And at the same time, you don't remove subsidy. It just be like, say, you open erosion, say, go destroy this house or destroy this area. Okay. Without control. Okay. Then another thing where I want to tell you, where I mentioned earlier, and I will repeat it here. Now, with the kind of issues where we get before us, objectively, this is not the time to spend and to be wasteful. That's why when they talk about state police, they create more ministry. Just think, how are you going to spend so much money when you are in crisis, it be like a man where they run in family, and he they in debt, he still they borrow money one take care of house. He go okay. put the family for. Oh, okay. for time not they get because for that, like I talk, we, we suppose, you know, say minister they do sectorial briefing, <laughs> and we supposed to take on sector by sector, and uh, this is waste when I talk, so it is part of our agenda. Just at time not day, we 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 reschedule this interview, make all of us finish it in a different sector because, for instance, now. With the talks of Monino Day, we use 90 billion take a subsidized uh, hatch. With the ESA, now get the highest, largest uh, cabinet ever for the history of Nigeria. Nice, nice. And the different different things we say they use. Although, he also like don't, don't like uh, talk something about small, small, small uh, <laughs> cost of governance. So but at the same time, that 90 billion, so many people they consider. Uh, so, wait, so time now, they just wrap up. For these two sectors, because we need to take the sector well, by sector. First of all, I agree that the way Nigeria is day to day, we need to cut the cost of governance. And the president has taken some steps in that direction, except some of us no know or we know we just deliberately want to let it like be. which on Like for, for instance, he has reduced the number of his entourage anytime he's traveling into any part of the world. He didn't just reduce his own, he reduced that of the president, he reduced that of the vice president the president's wife and the vice president's wife. And that trickles down to the ministers and uh, other uh, uh, directors of agencies. That has been done in itself. I also agree that 
government has to be deliberate about spending, reducing the cost of governance. It, is, it, has, it has to be done. But however, generally, I think the president is taking a lot of steps. He's looking at the issue of electricity, which is the major problem of production in this country. Now he's saying that you know, the new electricity act is saying that state can generate power by themselves, which is a right step in the right direction for me. You know, so that is a good step which the president has taken. And I want Nigerians to give the president, you know, chance to implement some of these laudable programs that he's trying to, you know, bring for Nigerians. And I believe that though for me, admittedly, the implementations are very, very slow. The president has another one year to be able to take decisions and implement policies that will affect the ordinary Nigerian in the streets so that they will know that it is not only about rhetorics of speaking, but that the president is ready to have a Nigeria that works and delivers for everybody. All right, member for us, uh, we salute the United General this evening, uh, President Ahmed Bola Tumbu. He, he does start the sectoral briefing, and uh, he does also talk to the one year in office celebration. He did low key. Uh, I don't know, great that Lagos, uh, something for Lagos, tell Milan Bridge, some kind of things. And also, we've also inaugurated some via um, this uh, uh, virtual, virtually. And also, to see, look, you know, great, to see, go and show, see, when you talk with the 10 Nigerians, you go do So, we will look this issue again because we know, see, for technical issues, we know, really, we start. So, we know if we take all of this sector and we want to look at sector by sector. The one they do for education, agriculture, and all of them we're talking about today. That's all we wrap up the program today. We salute everybody we join us this evening. Brother Albert and El Sao. Yes, uh, we salute everybody who say we make sure say this uh, broadcast in world. And I will not forget our chief, uh, chief engineer Emmanuel Opotuke for make sure you say this program. And now this gentleman here too, I salute all of them because uh, the fear we say the things come here before. You don't, don't go. You don't go like three times. So driving from the house to this place, not really big issue. All this thing, we salute the home say because of the interest that they get for this country, they come here. We'll see you again next week by Monday. Until then, God bless Nigeria.